So before I start the video, I just want to go over something really, really quickly just so we're all on the same page. The picture in front of you is what's referred to as numpad notation. TLDR, all of these numbers correspond to a different direction. 6 is forward, 3 is down forward, 2 is down, 1 is down back, 4 is back, 7 is up back, 8 is up, and 9 is up forward, and 5 is just a neutral stance. So if I say numbers in combination like 236 or 214, a 2-3-6 motion is basically doing the 2, 3, and 6 directions in one smooth motion. We just call that a quarter circle forward. Or a 2-1-4 is doing the 2, 1, and 4 directions in one swift motion. Call it a quarter circle back. Also, I'm going to link a picture of this in the description just in case you need to follow along. Other than that, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's just hop into the video. You ever find yourself thinking too much? Yeah, we'll join the party. How's it hanging? I'm Yami Wan. Um, I back risking my mental health, but not in Guilty Gear, but in Guilty Gear. So today's video is going to be really weird. <laughs> um, very opposite of what I usually do, but it was an idea I had. And since I didn't have any plan for an actual video today, I figured this would be kind of okay. So basically, um, what I'm doing today is just going over a theory type thing I had with uh, for Eno, right? Because he's my main character in Guilty Gear Strive. I don't know if I'll ever extend this out to other other games, but I just figured it'd be a pretty cool idea to just, okay, that's not supposed to start like that. I thought it would be a good idea to maybe put some of my ideas for things um, as, as a video and kind of just out there. It's not really like an idea for like changes or anything, just in that, like, this is like a, a theory craft video, right? Basically where I'm just gonna be showing you ideas I've had for specific characters probably like more often than not it'll be you know but I might do other characters if I actually know like stuff about them and I actually have an idea of how to use them in any sort of way but yeah I figured you know would be a good starting point since I actually know what I'm doing with it so the whole premise of today's video or today's theory craft right is baiting DPs so I think we all know the dangers of DPs right we can all just be chilling in neutral enjoying our time, then you think to yourself, huh, maybe I should put on the pressure. So you run up to your opponent and they hit you with one of these. Yeah, or if you're really unlucky, you can run into a maniac who does something like this. Crazy, right? People exist who do that. They're all maniacs. So today's video, like I said, was just about baiting DPs after wall break and kind of punishing them and getting a pretty good combo off it. I feel like people, well, obviously, right? It depends on the person you're playing, but I, I feel like a good chunk of people will be in the group of people who will just mash DP um, as soon as they get wall broken. Now, I will say that I'm doing this off of the hard knockdown provided from a super. I wouldn't even recommend doing this if it's not off of a super hard knock- if it's not off of a hard knockdown from a super. So yes, a super hard knockdown. Just because it's not the safest thing. It's only really safe due to the, 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 the hard knockdown, you know what I mean? If you just do it in a regular knockdown, there's a good chance they could mash DP on you or mash something else, mash super even and uh, you, you lose. At the same time though, they could mash super even on the hard knockdown. So I guess, like I said, yeah, you just have to, to know the opponent you're facing. But yeah, let's get right into it. I'll probably be skipping around a lot just because um, I'll have to find specific places where I actually did the combo as opposed to dropping it. I will show up, I think I might show a couple instances where um, it drops or like specific circumstances, you know, that sort of thing. But I'll, I'll preface it if it's if it actually comes to one of those. So let's just get into it. So this first instance is with uh, Slash and Heavy Slash Volcanic Viper. I, t I don't know why I keep pausing. I'm going to pause a <laughs> I tend to call them uh, Light and Heavy, uh, respectively, right? And uh, if I do that, just know I, the Light is the Slash version and Heavy is Heavy Slash. So like I said, this comes... Oh, they knew this. This comes after a, uh, a wall break. So you'll see me do the wall break. Bam, there's that. So then this first thing I do is I run up. All right, I get... I, Call it run up? Yeah, sure. I run up with uh, light or slash stroke the big tree because as you can see, right? Hang on. Let me see if I can get to it. As you can see, it gets you to this distance that's like in front of them, but not like right next to them, like heavy slash uh, stroke the big tree would. So the idea here is basically to get close enough to where they're like, okay, they're going to keep attacking me. And like I said, the idea is to bait out a DP. Now, I don't know how well this would actually work against people. This, like I said, is all just a theory. It could just be complete 
idiocy and no one will ever fall for it but it's an idea you know what i mean so you do the, the uh i'm just gonna call it light so you do the light stroke the big tree get close and you want to wait for them to do something all right because you're still pretty much far away that damn near anything they do like if they do something it probably won't reach unless it's like a high commitment move and by that point you're still blocking anyway so it's not like you know like you're like you're not supposed to do that and then immediately keep running up on them the idea is to do, go into light stroke the big tree i don't know why i always call it light goddamn as they go into uh slash stroke the big tree and wait for them to actually do something so right you wait for the cpu the person to do their dp and then you go into six, the Eno 6H, which uh, has like a rotating hitbox with the, the ball. So it goes up, it hits them. You hit them with the... the that is a, a heavy stroke to big tree, I do believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's heavy stroke to big tree. That's one of the only ways you can combo off it. it except in a certain situation, and we'll get to that later. But you do heavy stroke to big tree. You know, you hit, you go into RC to continue your combo. Now keep in mind, they can burst out of all of this, so be be careful, I guess, you know, it's, it's just an idea, like I said, it's not foolproof, but they can burst out of it, I will tell you that much. Uh, anyway, well, actually, now that I'm thinking, well, you can't burst out of whiff moves, can you? I don't know if you can whiff, I don't words, I don't know if you can burst out of whiff moves, but, ooh, okay, I might have, I might have an idea for something that we might check out after I'm done with all this footage. So yeah, pretty sure you can't, I mean, you can, I'm pretty sure they can burst out of it, so be warned, right? 6H into your heavy slash stroke the big tree. So, I mean, let me go back to this, because I am kind of lagging behind. Uh, once you do that, once you do your RC, you want to dash up. I use the, the actual dash button so I don't get the, the input messed up or anything. You want to dash up go into your JD which is your jumping dust attack just to get that extra kind of air carry I guess land into your close slash to go right into chemical love down into your uh, crouching crouching heavy slash and then into light stroke the big tree then wall crack then you can go into either chemical love once again or um, I believe 6H does the same amount of damage like uh, like it shows you probably won't have the bar to actually super again so, you know, going for one of those options, the 6H or, or Chemical Love. Chemical Love being, what is it, 214? 214 kick, I believe? 214 kick. So it's, uh, I'll probably have the diagram on, on the screen, but 214 kick. And uh, yeah, that's the first one against Soul's Light. Let me see if I can skip to the heavy slash version okay so uh, sorry it took me a second to find it so this is the version with heavy slash it's literally the same um concept except you have a little bit more time to actually get into the six well yeah you have a little bit more time to get into the six stage since souls uh heavy slash dp takes him up higher so we'll just show it again just for reference it's literally the same thing bam bam Bop, bam, 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 bop. Bam. Alrighty. And that's the version on Soul. Um, I would like to say that now, well, I guess I should say at the beginning, but this does work on every character with the DP. It works a little bit differently with some characters compared to others, but we'll get to that. Uh, I think we'll actually get to it now because the next character up should be... Yeah, it is Kai. Okay, cool. Let me find when it actually starts and then we can get right to it okay so this is for kai's slash version of his dp it's called what is his dp called wait a minute vapor thrust did not know that not gonna lie <laughs> but yeah it's for the uh, the slash version of his dp like i said it's the same concept around uh around it's the same concept for literally every dp in the game um his slash version is no different as you can see, it's literally the exact same combo. And now here's where we get to the interesting part. So if we can find where I actually pull it off with his heavy slash version. Okay, so here we are with Kai's heavy slash version. Once again, what? Once again, like I said, it takes a little bit of a second just to find where I actually pulled it off as opposed to messing it up or whatever, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So the, the, the weird thing about Kai's heavy slash version is unlike other DPs, it actually propels him forward a little bit, right? Well, not even a little bit. It's actually pretty. It's actually a good, a good amount, I think, anyways. So it kind of changes up what you would have to do. Well, it changes up the situation, right? Because with Kai's DP, 
it makes it so that if you do it if you do it early enough you can get him to stay on the same side but if you do it too late he ends up going to the other side so i can show you that this combo is what i found will work if he ends up crossing to the other side i don't know if it's the most optimal right but it works and you know <laughs> there we go wall break bam we see it same bait now there we go there's the cross up and that's basically the change right since you're not gonna get the same carry since it's not on the same side you kind of have to do different things, so I'm just going to walk you through basically what it is. Da -da -da, da -da -da. The same bait, we go into that. Alright, so boom. First hit, he goes behind your head. Yami, how the hell am I supposed to react to this? Not going to lie, it actually gives you hella time to react. Like, actually an insane amount. And and the, the thing about this combo is too, you're kind of going to want to go later. Because instead of using heavy slash stroke to big tree, you want to use slash stroke to big tree. Just because the distance he goes after getting hit in this in this spot is not as far as heavy slash stroke the big tree. Well, no, it's too far. No, it's not far enough. There we go. That's what it is. It's not far enough for heavy slash stroke the big tree. So you have to do slash. So bam, that like I said gives you hella time to react. Go right, go right ahead in the slash. Same RC. You want to wait a little bit because I found if you go a little bit too early, if you go too early and hit him with your JD too fast. Uh, Kai will actually stop drifting to the right and will start drifting back to the left and he'll basically mess up the combo. I guess in that sense you can still hit him with a, a chemical love but reacting to that would actually be godlike. So if you can actually do that, all props to you. You're better than me. <laughs> but uh, let me just run this back just so that it's not messed up or anything. Bam. Waiting a second. JD. Right into close slash into chemical love. And that's the best combo I found for it. Granted, I didn't look very long. <laughs> I just found something that worked, and I'm just going to go with it. And that's basically the weird circumstance with Kai. Since his DP actually moves him forward a little bit. Well, it moves him forward more than other characters. It's kind of a, a weird thing, but I feel like it works anyways, right? So now I'm just going to go in and show you when it actually hits on same side. Because it's... When it hits on same side, it's literally the same as every other combo, but but just to, just to show it, right? Just to show it. And that's another thing too, actually. I wanted to, I guess it's important to say too. Uh, you want to make sure you don't go forward too fast. Because if you do start, like if you do hit your button too fast or you start walking forward, you will get hit by most of these DPs. Like I'm, I'm pretty certain you'll get hit by most of these DPs. So just another thing to look out for. And then that's another thing to look out for. Um, if you do it too low to the ground, if you do it too late, rather, uh, it'll drop. And I think that's obviously right. That's the case for everybody. Just Kai's the one that popped up with me doing it. So I'll just show that one. Okay. It took a while to find that one too. Like I said, I'm sorry, but I, I should have I should have separated these into their own videos, but I just kind of did it in one burst. So, you know, there's that, but it doesn't matter. Here we go with the heavy slash version. And it, you can do any wall break combo as long as it's like a, off a super for a hard knockdown. So you can even probably do Eno's other super. But as you can see, right, if you get same side, it's literally the same confirm as everybody else's. Just to show you that it works on Kai as well. And uh, now we're on to the next one. All right, and we're back with Chip. Like I said, it's the same basic combo for every character, but it's just to show you that it works on every character as well. Um, also, not sure if I finished saying it before, but this works off any hard knockdown um, from wall break. So you can do Eno's other super, the command grab, or you can do this one, doesn't matter. Like I said, boom. Same combo. And it's just like hella damage on chip. Golly. Get this man to a medic. Alrighty. And we're back. Um, now checking it out with Mr. White Fang. As soon as I said White Fang, only thing I thought it was Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. Besides the point, besides the point. So we're doing it. So this is um Leo's slash DP. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. Same knockdown. Um, you know, same thing. Bam into bam, bop. You've seen it already. Same wall break combo. Now, uh, to show the heavy slash version. So I should also um, let this be known. With Leo's heavy slash version of his DP, you kind of have to time it a little bit differently just because if you don't, it might whiff like this. And bam, if you do it too early, um, you will miss his DP since it kind of 
not lags, but like he kind of, he has that second move in the air, you know, just look out for it. Kind of weird, it just depends on the person you're fighting, like if they like, you know, people, people prefer DPs and stuff. I, I doubt there are people who just cycle through which DP they use, right? So just look out, you know, <laughs> like I said, it isn't foolproof, it's just, you know, something I was thinking up, so don't flame me too badly. Let me see if I can get back to the other one. Um, yeah, you see, bam. Waiting a little bit. And bam, same combo. Now, I know what you're thinking at this point, right? How the hell is there still time left in this video? Every character with a DP in this game has already been talked about. Well, you're right and wrong. <laughs> there is one character that's probably the trickiest out of all of these to get consistently. And the reason is because their DP isn't really a DP. I just took it upon myself to see if it would actually work. And, um... Let's see about that. So, if you didn't know, last character I was talking about was Giovanna. <laughs> um, a lot of people, you know, you know the move she has. I don't, what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. But it's not really a DP. It's more of an anti-air. But a lot of Giovanna players like to, well, I'm not really as much anymore. Not, at least not that I've seen. But some Giovanna players, I'll say that, will still try to use that as a DP even though it's not. So, here's your guide to stopping it. Now, this one is harder to punish. Yeah, it's harder to punish because it's not, like I said, it's not an actual DP. So you're not like actually really, maybe I just did it too late in this. You probably, I'd assume you'd have to do it earlier to actually get, I I'm just gonna keep this on screen just so I can, you know, grab it to the easier. So like I said, right, that's not an actual DP. So like they're not in the air. There's no like counter hit to get. So I can only assume that you can get that counter hit if you do it earlier. Like, I don't know how early you'd have to do it, though. I'd assume that as soon as you finish doing Slash Stroke the Big Tree, you'd have to go immediately into 6-H to actually get a counter hit off of it. Um, I didn't actually do that. I probably should have. I didn't, I didn't really think about it until then, but I'll probably add in, like, a little video of me doing that just to see if it actually works or not. It's a regular confirm, right? So it, it's, it still works for what you want to do with it, but it's just a regular confirm. So it has regular confirm timing, right? So peep, well, I mean, that one whiffed, right? But <laughs> man, did I did not remember that that whiffed, right? With regular timing of Stroke the Big Tree, you have to go into Heavy Slash. There's no other way to confirm that unless you, I think, maybe Chemical Love will work, but Stroke the Big Tree works better from the combo purpose, I think at least. Um, so let me see if I can find where I actually pull it off. All right, it took me a second to find this one because uh, I actually messed it up quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, here you go, just to show you. This, you know, it's, it's literally the same thing, right? Just a different confirm. It's kinda, I, I think this is harder than even getting Kai's, because at least off Kai's you get the counter hit, and then you still have time to react. But this one is, is like, you just gotta do it. So, you know, if you don't do it, you don't do it. But um, from, about where is it like from this part forward it's literally the same combo it's just, it's just that the initial part just out spacing them which is probably the easiest part about that because you don't really even have to move anywhere if anything you have to hold back and then getting the 6h into heavy stroke the big tree rc bam 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 and wall break so uh let me see if i can actually get it to work as a counter hit as opposed to just a punish um, I'll be right back with that. Okay, so this is attempt one. Let's see if we can actually get it to be a counter hit as opposed to a um a punish. Down into I don't think I don't think she recovers fast enough. Yeah, I don't think the move comes out fast enough for it to actually punish. I guess another way of doing it would be like this. Yeah, but even that doesn't work, huh? Oh, you know what? Actually the better thing against a Giovanna doing this would be that. Since it's gonna hit, yeah. <laughs> I just thought about that. If they try to do that move, it's only, it's literally only an anti-air, not even a DP, so even if you do like heavy stroke, oh yeah, we'll see if you do it too early, you can't get punished, but. Okay, so we might have tech for Giovanna, wait a minute. Might be a, a tad bit different. Ah, damn it, that doesn't even break wall though. Ah, uh, eh, that's okay, right? Maybe, hang on, maybe that's it, wait a minute. That might have been it, actually. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't think that'll work. Other than... I don't think that'll work other than that. At least with that combo, you can get a hard knockdown. So you can... 
get your pressure going once again. You know what I'm saying? But let me try one more thing. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure you can't do it, or you can't get it rather. Well, that countered, but I was way too close for it to actually, I mean, to actually profit off of it. Yeah, I think it was her counter hit. Yeah, I don't think it works. I don't think it works other than as a punish, but I mean, at least it's a punish, right? <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. This recording is damn near an hour long. I did not think I'd be here this long doing this. I hope this video is at least under 30 minutes. Um, I ho I'm hoping it's at least under 20 in all honesty, but you know, that's the video for today. I'm um, sorry for it being kind of weird. This was oh, my bad. Sorry for it being kind of weird. This was a spontaneous decision I made. Deci decision, decision, decision I made, and um, I think it's actually a pretty cool concept. I just probably gotta get better with the execution. So you know, feel free to tell me if, if you uh, like it or not. You know what I'm saying? If it sucks, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I can take it. I can take it. I can't take it, but you should still tell me. Just just for good feedback. Good feedback. Probably back to regularly scheduled stuff tomorrow. It might be a fighter's video tomorrow. It might be. I'm not really sure, though. I'll, I'll decide when tomorrow comes, honestly. Anyways, though, that's all I got for you today. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.